Good morning, and welcome to this week's Saturday read-through and discussion. Uh, today we're in Romans chapter 4. As we discussed, it's essentially a pick-off, or a pick-up from the argument that Paul was making in chapter 3, uh, that it's always been about faith, not three different Gospels, as we got very passionate about last week. So let's get right into it this morning. What then shall we say that Abraham, our forefather according to the flesh, discovered in this matter? In fact, Abraham was justified by works. He had something to boast about, but not before God. What does Scripture say? Abraham believed God, and it was credited to him as righteousness. Now, to one who works, works, wages are not credited as a gift, but as an obligation. However, to the one who does not work, but trusts God, who justifies the ungodly, their faith is credited as righteousness. David says the same thing when he speaks on the blessedness of the one whom God credits righteousness apart from works. Blessed are those whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Blessed is the one whose sin the Lord will never count against them. And this blessedness only for the circumcised are also for the uncircumcised. We have been saying that Abraham's faith was credited to him as righteousness. Therefore, the promise comes by faith, so that it may be by grace and may be guaranteed to all Abraham's offspring, not only to those who are of the law. Against all hope, Abraham in hope believed. So that is a concise version. We're going to read the whole chapter um, this morning. Uh, this is a lot, and it sort of repeats itself because I think there was a lot of confusion um, written and wrote. And um, again, we pick back up as this idea that even back then the Jews thought, well, it has to be works and faith now, or at least some of even the Christians thought. Even some of the Christians thought that that works and faith were in the Old Testament. And we have people, again, who believe this today. Again, as I said last week, the law was never meant to be this halfway thing. It was meant to show you your sin. It was almost like a mirror, right? Um, the Bible calls it a schoolmaster to teach you um, something about yourself. It was never for you to accomplish in the first place. Yes, they were to honor God, but they were the main reason of them were to were to show you your sin in the first place. So I like to look at it in this way. It's like a mirror. The law is something that it's a mirror that you see yourself that you can't accomplish and that you need uh, to know you have a savior. That's one of the ways that God um, use the law. This is sort of a pickup from last week again, so a lot of it was covered last week, so that's, um, and it had one section. Most chapters in, in the Bible, if you have a Bible that has a title in each chapter of what it's about, most chapters will have multiple different titles, multiple different topics wrestled in one part of the chapter, but this one only wrestled with the idea uh, that Abraham and the forefathers in the Old Testament um, were still justified by faith. It's always been that way. Um, so that is all the time we have for today. Hope you've enjoyed uh, this devotional. I will see you hopefully next week. I'll be in Michigan, but on Saturday, and obviously on my podcast, I won't have this week, but on Saturday, I'm coming back on Saturday, so it depends how late I get home. I might be able to do one quickly, and I may look dead, <laughs> but I hope to do one next week, so if so, I'll see you then. If not, I'll see you in two weeks. Peace.